The biggest reason people don't become entrepreneurs is self-doubt or comfort. Now, if you have nothing to lose, you become an entrepreneur. The interesting thing that shocks me is how many people are so competent and they remain working for corporations and they don't take that leap or that jump. Why? Because they doubt it. They, they doubt themselves. Am I going to fail? I'm comfortable where I am. I am getting paid a lot of money. For me, the reason I jumped to becoming an entrepreneur was simple. I wanted to control my own destiny. This is the E-Y-W-E-O-Y. Personally, I think I've been chosen to come to Monaco to just add a different edge onto their normal event that they've been doing for the past 15 years. Big companies like to do things a certain way. It's good that they're taking calculated risks to bring channels like SBTV over to document it in a different way that might not have been documented before. I think it's important for big companies to focus on young people and youth employment because like I always say, we're the young leaders of today, the future leaders of tomorrow. If we're not empowered, then what is tomorrow's world going to look like? I think for someone older who's trying to engage with people who are younger, the, the important thing is to be open to the fact that they know more than you do about a whole ton of things. The next generation, Gen C, we talked about that. They want to make a difference in the world. They, they want to do something and contribute something. And large organisations are realising is actually the people, to get the best talent, you have to attract the best people, and the best people want to make a difference. Learning how to learn, knowing what your passion is, and then building relationships um, is more valuable than the grades you get on your exams. And then, you know, when you're coming through school, you don't always think of that. Everyone talks about, what was your grade? What's your rank? More importantly, how well do you team? What's your judgment? What's your uh, ability to, to think differently? Actually, I believe in reverse mentoring. I think there should be a young person sitting in leadership teams mentoring older leaders. Everyone talks about Generation C or Generation Y or Generation Z. I always say it's Generation DIY, do it yourself. That's what a lot of young people are like, they just want to get up and do it themselves. Nothing gets done alone in life at all, right? So and the most successful entrepreneurs are people who can surround themselves with amazing team and who know when to let go, who can have that trust and confidence to do it. I think you have to really appreciate your team and uh, you know bring them along. Uh, nobody can do it all themselves. Uh, everybody has blind spots. So uh, build a team that complements your blind spots. We have a belief that the best ideas are not inside the Coca-Cola company, they're outside. At EY, in fact, we have just set up a number of groups of uh, young professionals uh, to give us really their perspective on a whole lot of the issues that we are making decisions on. Basically, a personal experience of knowing that you can't be the best at everything, whether that's me filming a video, I could have carried on filming and, and, and it would have got me to a certain place, but I needed to delegate to see people that are better, than, better at filming than me and put other people on instead of focusing on my skill myself. I think every great leader needs to be able to collaborate, delegate, and innovate. That's a C-D-I, it's made up now. The main reason that stops young people from wanting to become entrepreneurs is the lack of self-belief. From the main speakers that are on stage to the people that I was actually attending, there's one trait that always lies through all of them, is just self-belief, believing in themselves. And that's something that I've been pushing for ages, SB, self-belief in the back of my head, everything. I think what makes a successful entrepreneur is um, um, their ability to believe in what they do. If you want to succeed spectacularly, 
you need to be willing to fail spectacularly. You're the CEO of your own life, um, that you need to take responsibility for your body. You need to take responsibility for your relationships. No one's going to do it all for you. Um, and so sometimes you see younger people saying, well, you know, they don't understand me, or they're not giving me what I need, or I don't have this um, empowerment. Well, take it. Um, don't accept it. Um, if you want flexibility, push for it. You know, don't, don't give up. You have to follow the thing that you think is important. You have to have that sense of self-determination. You have to decide for yourself what really matters and take steps towards that thing, whatever that is. Because I think if we mentor the young people of today, we're then going to create businesses which then can employ more people. So it's like a, it's like a 360 circle. with magnificent tenors and the song One World Under the Sky and because of ENY we are one world under the sky tonight regardless of religion regardless of the borders we are together The EY World Entrepreneur of the Year for 2015 is awarded to France, Mohad Alton. There was a high percentage of young people that want to be entrepreneurs but think they can't be entrepreneurs. But I think our generation is going to be one that's defined in the next 10, 15, 20 years. But I'm all about disrupting, so if we can try and help as many young people get empowered and inspired as possible. Like the ceiling can hold us. Like the ceiling can hold us. Now, like to get back you, yeah. I'm so damn grateful. I grew up really gonna go once, but that's what you get when we take ways. I can't stop me. Go hard like I gotta get away from my heartbeat. Hopefully, out of these 165 people, if one of them does go on to do something great, then that would make me feel, oh cool, I was a part of that. And even if it's the person that I'm mentoring myself, I help them to go into greatness, then I'm gonna feel, yes, it, it, I, I've done something to make a change. But I think at the moment, we made the pledge, but now we need to actually deliver on it and see, see what happens. I am here to give you a message, which is, which is a message of hope of humanity. All my life through, I waited this moment, this particular moment, just to give you this message. Believe in the future. Believe in what you are doing. Believe in yourself. And all of us will make a better, better future. Thank you very much. Thank you.